Welcome back to the week 12 episode in the Carolina Panthers franchise, the franchise where we try to change the course of history, uh, change the season, the rookie season for Bryce Young to a better, to not be the worst team in the NFL. Uh, we kind of did that already. 7-3, and three, we aren't that bad. We're leading the NFC South. Uh, we have pushed up to the fourth overall spot. Uh, I'm really happy with what we have achieved so far. Plus, last time I uh, forgot to show the reveal for uh, for Jonathan Mingo, our wide receiver, as expected. It's going to be a start of trade. Yeah, there we go. No surprise there, but it's good because he will be growing a little bit quicker. That is quite positive. Apart from that, the team still is really horrible, all right? I don't see too many chances of, of, of really improving the team uh, quickly. Uh, looking at all of these dudes here, uh, it's just going to be slogging through this up until <laughs> up until off-season. And then I think we could try and think about rebuilding the team a little bit. We have so many injured players as well uh, that we can't bring back, which really sucks. But what I do like is we've got a breakout a linebacker, help a player upgrade his death trait. Eat your gross matters. Coach, you've really let me play to my instincts recently. Can't thank you enough. Last week was one of my best performances I've had since college. If I can put together another game like that against the Titans, it'll go a long way toward establishing me as a leader on this team. So there we go. We're going to try and get this. Hold the Titans to less than 250 total yards or get you to cross matches. One int, forced fumble, tackles for loss or sack. All right. I mean, I don't really have too much impact on that, but we'll try and just get the, put the best players on the depth chart to just help them along. Um, apart from that, we're going to be taking a look at the Titans now and uh, then doing weekly strategy, player upgrades, staff upgrades as much as we can upgrade. And uh, then we're going to be playing this game against the Tennessee Titans away at Nissan Stadium. It's going to be a strange one for me. All right. Will Levis is the starting uh, quarterback here. Ryan Tannehill, the backup. Malik Willis, also the backup. I really like this uh, normal dev trade here for uh, Will Levis currently. Uh, he earned the star dev trade uh, by winning a Super Bowl for for me in the Titans franchise, he's really, really good. Way, way underrated, first of all, in Madden and I think in real life as well. Running back Derrick Henry currently injured. This will help us, of course, but Ty J Spears is not far behind. Also a rookie added to lane. Hassan Haskins currently injured. We've got Julius Chestnut and Jonathan Ward here as well. So a little bit depleted, but Ty J Spears still good, a very good running back. Fullback is Andy Janovich, 30 and 74. Wide receivers consisting of DeAndre Hopkins, 31, 89. Traylon Burks, 30, uh, 23 and 79. He's really good. Philip Dorsett, the second, 30 and 74. Mac Hollins, 29, 73. Nick Westbrook, Ikine and Kiaris Jackson. So they did swap around a little bit. I don't see more here. So that again has changed already. Uh, tight end uh, room, Chigo Okonkwo currently injured. So Josh Wiley, Trevon Wesco and Kevin Rader will be doing the tight end lifting here. The offensive line, we've got to one James, 31 and 74. Andrew Dillard is the real left tackle. Uh, Andrew Rupsich and Jalen Duncan, who's actually a right tackle. Or I, I use him at right tackle as a backup. Uh, left guard, Peter Skoronsky, 22-83, a rookie. Fantastic dude. He gets so good. He's now my starting center. Uh, he's high into the 90s. Absolutely fantastic. Dillard and Dunce. Um, also, I use him on right guard. But again, he can play both positions. So very good. On center, Aaron Brewer is my backup center. Really, very really solid. 25 and 75 and Corey Levin. Um, yeah, just a backup. Nothing more. Right guard, Daniel Brunskill, 29.73. And Calvin Throckmorton, really horrible. All right, just a bad, bad room. I hate this. Let's move on to tackle. Marcus Cannon, 35.73. I use Nicholas P.D. Trey for most of my time. Uh, Chris Hubbard was backup. John Ojukwu, that's a rookie that I don't think I used. Um, because he wasn't in the game yet. Uh, but yeah, there we go. This is just kind of the setup that uh, we are facing here. It's not as solid. It's not as polished as mine, of course. But still, we will have to see how we push through. Facing us is the defense. Denico Autry, 3380. Khalid Kareem and TK McLendon Jr. Uh, are uh, the defensive uh, left edge dudes. On the right edge, we've got Jeffrey Simmons, of course. A superstar, 2688. Jaleel Johnson behind him and Keandre Coburn 
Actually, I mean, we're facing Dedico Autry, Jeffrey Simmons, and here Jonathan Hankins is injured, Marlon Davidson, Quinton Bohan, and Cal Pecco. Interesting. Actually, I thought Tier Tart was here. Um, at least he was on my franchise. Left outside linebacker Arden Key, 2776. I like that. Rashad Weaver, 2568. We've got Caleb Murphy. That's a rookie, but Arden Key, the starter. Mid linebackers Drew Trank will 28 and 82. Can't remember him really being there. I reckon that must have been a trade or something. Jack Gibbons, Chance Campbell, Joseph Jones, and Luke Gifford. Um, yeah, Drew Tranquil is certainly very good. I can't remember if he's really there. I don't think he is. That must have been that must have been a trade or something like that. LA Charge. I don't know. I don't know. I just can't remember him being on that team. Right as a linebacker, Howard Landry. Yeah, 27 and 79. Travis Gibson, 26, 74. Cornerbacks. Let's take a look here. Roger McCreary, 2382. Got Sean Murphy Bogdan, 2679. Two very good cornerbacks. Caleb Hardy, 24 and 75. Christian Fulton's also very, very good. Eric Garrard, that's a rookie. And Trey Avery, 2664. But yeah, those up top, they're super quick, they're super fast. Look at Caleb Farley, very, very good. Not quite that well developed yet, but that will happen over time. Free safety. Let's take a look. Kevon Wallace, 26-74. Elijah Molden, 24-74. And PJ Williams, 30-73. and 73. I had a money hooker here still, but uh, yeah, whatever. I started the franchise immediately after the game came out. So it might have been the roster is not quite up to date yet. Strong safety. Now, nah, here he is. A money hooker, all right. Then Terrell Edmonds, 26-78. I'm pretty sure that he wasn't there. Uh, Mike Brown at strong safety as the backup. So these two certainly very, very good strong safeties. The free safety position, not that hotly set. Kicker Greg Joseph, punter Ryan Stonehouse. We also have Ty Zentner, that's a rookie here. Um, that's the backup punter or whatever that position is supposed to be. All right, weekly strategy time. How do we stop this group of dudes? How do we stop Will Levis? Um, again, we're going to focus on the short passing. Now, let's just try to take that away from them. Everybody seems to be fit. So, left edge, backup training for sure. Starter, starters. Uh, D tackle? Yeah, let's go with starters. Left outside linebacker, starters. Splits at mid linebackers, right outside linebacker. Yeah, let's get Yitu Gross Matos that upgrade. I'd really like to see that. Um, starters and splits. All right, I can work with that. Offensive game plan. How do we approach it? We're going to run it. I just want to have those buffs again gonna go with, with uh, full pads Bryce Young gets a buff splits for for halfbacks starters fullbacks wide receivers are right starters are righty let's go with the starters for the entire offensive line they really need that help man really need that help on the team profile unchanged so far we have a reveal for Jonathan Mingo he's a star that's great Bryce Young also a star everybody else normal dev trade let's see how that develops 200 plus rushing yards we need to put pressure on them. So we're going to go with a sacking, 20 points. Let's get 300 offensive yards. And we're going to allow under 200. That is kind of what we need to achieve anyways here for you to cross Matos. All right. One addition, Tristan Hill here. Currently injured. D-tackle out for a week. That's not too bad. Though I can't really wait to get back these dudes. But there is no option to do that, which sucks at the moment. I just hope that we get the chance to do that very quickly. Uh, for now, uh, we're going to be upgrading players. No staff upgrades will be happening here. Taylor Moulton, let's get him some agility added here. Again, he's an important part. I really think he's very good. The problem is I feel like he is kind of overpaid. Close to 30 mil. That is just really a lot of money. Von Bell holding down that safety position. DJ Chark will be leaving the team after this season. Plus, he's not even one of my top receivers. Jonathan Mingo doing pretty well, though. So let's get him some points into Playmaker. Currently 75 pace. Bryce Young gets an upgrade. That is good. Field General, let's get some more here. Nice. 76 pace. He can only get better, and that uh, will only help him uh, perform better and better, and so on and uh, so forth. There we go. Tommy Tremble, final upgrades. Well, that's it done. We're going to be heading into the week 12 game against uh, the uh, Tennessee Titans here. We're currently 5-5. Five five. It's away at Nissan Stadium. Nissan Stadium. It actually feels like home because I've 
been close to. I think I've finished. How many seasons did I finish? I think five seasons are done now on the uh, franchise with the Titans. Um, I am, uh, yeah, over 100 episodes deep. And uh, I just I really love that franchise. Really, really great team. Great development. Great storylines in there. Now, we had Will Levis win uh, the Super Bowl. We had Will Levis get injured really badly after 38 weeks. Malik Will is taken over and then leading the team depleted from injuries also to a touchdown. That was awesome. Then Will Levis returned and then led them again to a touchdown. So we got three, not touchdowns, Super Bowls, of course. Super Bowl wins. That was fantastic. All right, really great. Mike Vrabel here. I think he's been a little bit hard done by with the firing, but okay. And it's going to be very strange playing against this team, especially in this uh, in this. Uh, Madden generation here. All right, so we start out the 25. We need a win to get back on track. Gonna go with a shallow cross here. Let's get Lubisky Chenault moving over towards the left hand side against this Titans pressure team here. And there we go. Lubisky Chenault gets the ball, catches, holds on to it. Let's just hope Bryce Young can stay consistent today. Stay to consistent today because he wasn't consistent last time around. <laughs> there was a small gap there. Didn't really manage to push into there. We have around six picks. And, you know, the 2024 class is really deep. Um, there were very good players in the third and fourth round still. So I'm really thinking if, if I'm going to trade down a little bit. And uh, maybe if I can even... Um, yeah, if I can even trade some of, you know, I've got two first rounders. Why not trade one of these, trade down to a second rounder, just pick players that are probably not as crazy highly rated, but that is still going to help us um, just improve the team and, and, and fix some of the holes that we will no doubt have at the point of drafting. I'm not going to be too wild going into the... Um, into free agency. I just don't think that that is really the way to go. Let's go with the stick switch here. Looking for Mingo towards the outside. Nice. All right. He actually held on to the ball there. Accuracy was poor, but he stretched well enough and got it. The notable inactives. It's the same each week, man. We're missing all of these players. They are out. And they're going to stay out. So left-hand side run. Let's go. Chandler Savala, 62. I need a block in there. There we go. Nice. All right. Number 59, Drew Tranquil. Getting a stop here. Sean Murphy Bunting is there. Inside zone, a left-hand side. Three, two, and one. Off we go. There we go. We're just kind of working our way up the field. This defense, of course, has very solid players. I know that from my first season with the Titans. But it's, of course, not as polished, not as dangerous as uh, the Cowboys defense is or was. So pushing in here, Chuba Hubbard up to the 7-yard line. We are, again, we're just edging our way forward. Let's go the wide corner, throwing towards the far end. I'm not sure if I'm really liking this one here. Let's try the verticals. Tommy Tremble. Nice. Just a beautiful audible here. Completely making the defenders miss their marks. And Tommy Tremble able to catch this in, uh, in the end zone without any contestation, actually. Come on, guys. Uh, here we go. Nice. Quick turnover. That's what we want to see. We need to hold him. And I would really like you to cross matches. To get a start of trade. That would certainly help us. And it would make it even sweeter. Because we gave him the new deal this season. Elijah Molden here. Number 24. Get through with that stop. Here we go. Inside zone. A left hand side. This is one of the things of course. That is really kind of weird about Madden. You know when it comes out. The season is... More or less, uh, more or less underway. At the same time, so many things do change. You're you're kind of starting in preseason, 
and uh, a lot of things change a lot of trades happen so this here of course is a way more approximate uh, uh, or uh, more realistic um showing of what the nfl teams look like the players that they have and so on compared to probably what i started with initially but yeah that's just the way it goes it actually doesn't matter too much because you start shaping uh your franchise the way uh you like it the moment you take over all right let's set up an inside zone we're gonna hit be hit with the two minute mark here two minute warning comes in seven and oh all right come on dudes let's go with a double cross here why not all right tremble or hubbard i think hubbard might be a little bit better if he gets the curve route quickly yes he does there we go can we escape here number 51 following along here that's Travis Gibson getting the tackle in. Roger McCreary back there. Good run. Pass was solid as well. Will Levis was was very good from the beginning. All right, he was really good when we started out, but I think it was around uh, season two or season three that he suddenly just got so good. It was really strange. He was really suddenly he was hitting targets like crazy. He was just really poised, calm. It was just really fantastic. And from then on, we kind of, you know, just started going. And things started working way, way easier. I think it was his second season. Towards the second half of the second season. That was when we also made it, uh, made it to the Super Bowl. Pushed in there. And that was that. Let's go. Chuba Hubbard. Let's go. Screen. Beautiful screen. Let's go. Good block here. Stepping aside from the tackle. Getting taken down though at the 9. It's first and goal. Now we've got a few tries to break in there. Adam Thielen. Tell you what. I'm going to be looking toward him. Just like that. Just like that. Why not? Why not? My best wide receiver, 85 rated. Doing a good job right there. Getting the distance on Sean Murphy bunting. So, feet down. Breaking the legs of a photographer. Not really what I want to see, but there we go. Alright, three points on the board and 13 seconds. <laughs> Again, maybe I could have tried to waste more time. I don't know. Mm. let's go with the post wheel drag here can we you know can i hit Thielen back there if i can i think i'm i think i'm gonna be up up in a way here we go first down five seconds to go bryce young rushes outside here 12 yards i think that was I want to have something that has an out route. Something like... Uh, let's go with the four verticals here. Let's set this one up real quick. 18 seconds ago. And I'm going to tell you something. We are going to flip this play. I want to have the red route runner moving towards the open field. Uh, can we get it? I'm not sure. We'll see. Ha! <laughs> We almost had that one, all right? 14 and 3. All right, so Wallace was there. Sean Murphy Bunting was there. I'm going to hold the skip. Here we go. Run it inside. That worked well so far. Defend the short pass. That worked well so far. Kick off deep right. So they're going to get... Um, they are going to get this one here. I'm not going to go for a squib kick. Right inside. Kablamo ball is out. Catch and he's gonna take an E, right? No, he's gonna bring it out. That's an interesting choice, actually. And the 14 is where he stopped. Interesting. In terrorist and in. Here we go. Halfback slam. Off we go. 49-3. Taken over in the 
Third quarter. Here we go. There was a gap there. Do we find the space to break out of here? Nope. Second and one. Bryce Young today performing... Actually, not bad. I'm feeling pretty happy with what he's doing. There we go. Tommy Tremble with that slide. Just moving behind the entire offensive line. Left to right. Nice. Mesh spot time. Let's go. Tommy Tremble again. Mingo and Thomas. Not too keen on Thomas, to be honest, right? I would like for Tommy Tremble to also get a death trade. I'm going very much in his direction. And he's growing because, of course, he gets those receptions. Gets experience points because of that. Ah, they moved back the linebackers now. Oh, crud. Yeah, had to get it out. Thrown out a sack. Number zero was zeroing in on me. Yes, I said it. I said it. So what? I said it. I said zero zero in. So what? If I could, I would say it all over again. <laughs> there you go. Adam Thielen going in. All right, this is um, this is working pretty well, pretty well. The connection Thielen and Bryce Young is very good. I was actually thinking of reducing Thielen's role, but to be honest, I need him. I really need him to perform. Here we go. Nice. It's just a very precise route runner, you know? All right. Turned over. Halfback dive. Let's go. 23 seconds. 1 minute 22 in the third quarter. Run. There we go. Push, 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 push. Stiff arm. Taken down by 21. Chuba Hubbard pushing forward for 6 yards. It's a mesh spot. Let's go here as the defensive players applaud. I'm going to be looking towards left. I do hope that gets open. And it actually does. Tommy Treble steps in there. Sean Murphy Buddy with a perfect tackling technique. Wrapping the leg. If you wrap the body, it sometimes works. If you wrap the shoulders, it works best. If you wrap the leg, there's no way. Out of this one here. Take a look. It just goes straight ahead. You just had him completely wrapped. There's no way getting out of that one. Clock is running down. I'm not going to slow things down further here, but uh, I do want to get some points here. I do want to get experience points here as much as we can. There we go. 11 rushes, 70 yards. Today, around 7 yards per rush. Last week, it was, I think it was around 5. That's just a slower game against the Cowboys. Very good team, man. Very good team. Those defensive players, really, really brutal so far. 47 passing yards. If we can hold them under 200, we're going to be happy. And of course, I'm going to be choosing a run plays here. Because the longer we keep them on the field, the less time the offense will have to play. And the less chance they will have to score. So there is absolutely... <laughs> the way to go. Here we go. Left hand side. Let's get something like five yards. Yeah, that's nice. That is nice. Exactly five yards. Clock is ticking. Clock is running. They will get the ball back again, but we don't have to, you know, just give it to them too early. Strike 97. Whatever that means. And here we go. Boom. All right. Taken down. Once more. Chuba Hubbard. Stopped by number 99. That is Rashad Weaver. Y corner. Third and six. Here we go. Tommy Tremble. But there's a triple coverage there. So I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to try the play action read here. Let's see the read option. And that was stopped. I ah, kind of saw that one coming, all right? I'm not going to say I knew it, but I kind of saw that one coming. So we're going to go with Eddie Pinheiro here. Field goal. Don't have to put too much power into it. Perfectly timed. Ball is between the sticks. And there we go. 24 versus 3. Uh, this game is won. There's no doubt about it. But the question is, 
Will we be able to stop him? All right. Halfback ISO, we are within the two minute drill. Let us get them to use those timeouts. Perfect. First set of new downs. On the other hand, I don't think they will be using the timeouts anyways. Because that is just, I mean, we're just running away with the game here. We're just running away with the game. 20 seconds. Let's just keep the drive going. Don't really want to waste too much time here. Oh, that was perfect. That was a perfect blitz. Oh, number 38. Couldn't avoid number 38. That was great, man. That was great. It completely opened up. Trail Edmonds has to catch us here. He was never going to give up, though. But on the offense, the the it was just the lane just completely opened up. With Chuba finding perfect space to go into. And here we go. 16, 14, 15, something like that. And here we go. 3, 2, 1, off we go. I just love the way he powers. For 16 rushes, 110 yards. The problem is Miles Sanders is not getting any snaps. I need to put him somewhere on the depth chart as well. I don't know where yet, but... He's going to get a spot. There we go. Chuba Hubbard almost again pushing forward. Third and one. We're going to call a timeout now. You're going to say, why are you calling timeouts, Stradius? I'm going to tell you because I love playing map. <laughs> oh, I don't want to match the stop. Just enjoying this one here. 19 seconds on the clock. Here's a snap. Kaboom. We keep on running. There we go. Push down. Number 38 again. Trail Edmonds. And now that we have a first down, we are going to go for some passes. I'd like to hit another touchdown here. Can we go? Can we hit him with a double slant spot? Let's see. Thielen, Mingo, you know, one of these could and probably should get something out of this. All right. No connection. Bryce Young. So far, uh, what was it? 11 and 16. Decent production. All right, gonna be looking for Ian Thomas. <laughs> Just look at that smack. It was my Murphy was like, yeah, nah, we're not having that. <laughs> All right, let's see. What do we have? What do we have here? Double cross. Play action over. We are going to go with a play action Y over. Tommy Tremble is going to be in there. I'm going to be dragging. Uh, feeling away with a hot route. There we go. Just opening up the left side. That was the target. Getting him in there. Untouched. Number 82, our tight end. Doing pretty well. There we go. Good connection. Perfect stuff. And another touchdown to boot. Very, very good. Let's just get on the winning side here. And we do just that. And uh, it's going to be a win against Mike Vrabel's Titans here. 30 versus 3. Bryce Young can be very happy here. He did really well today. Good usage of his uh, receivers. Good usage of the team. Well done, Panthers. There we go. 68% completion rate, four touchdowns. Yikes, man. 171 yards. Yeah, Will Levis just never got going here. 35%. Uh, what about the rushing? Chuba Hubbard was awesome. Levis going for 18. Bryce Young going for 12. On the receiving side, Tommy Treble, 96, two touchdowns. Adam Thielen, 33, two touchdowns. Just way more efficient. Chuba Hubbard did well. What about defense? Let's see. Trell Edmonds. Three solo tackles, nine total tackles. Yeah, it was a safety back there. Elijah Moulton, two tackles for loss. One sack by Marquis Haynes Sr. Zero interceptions. And uh, Eddie Pinheiro did well on the kicking as well. I won't speak for anyone else on the team, but I'm pretty happy with my performance this week. You know how elite players always say, 
the game started to slow down for me. Yeah, I finally understand what that means. So, Yito Gross Matos gets a death trade upgrade. Now, I start if development trade progresses faster than before. 5000 XP for my linebacker. That's pretty cool as well. So, that gives me another star player in, uh, in my lineup here. Let's just check him out on defense. Here we are. Yito Gross Matos. 73 rated. I reckon he will be growing a little bit quicker now. I really like that. Very much deserved. Let's just check him out quickly. 25 years old, 73 overall. That is really good. I like those stats. I like those stats. He will be doing pretty well. I think he will be growing quite quickly now. If he's around an 80, if we hit the uh, you know 26, 27 mark, I'm gonna be happy. I'm gonna be very happy. Um, yeah. Well. I like this one. I really like this one. I really don't like these 60 rated dudes here, but for what it's worth, I mean, they're just doing their best, all right? They're just really helping. The strength is really good for both of them. So I think that is the main reason why why we're not getting completely obliterated here. Uh, both have pretty high strength ratings. The rest is just bad. <laughs> it's just bad. No need to comment on that, but that is really something that I'm pretty happy about, to be honest. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna cut the episode now, guys. Thank you so much. Uh, we had a really, really great game today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, do drop a like. Please subscribe. It means a lot to me, as you know. Uh, and as always, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for making this special for me. Uh, yeah, stay awesome, dudes. See you next time.